So now in this video, we are going to see how absolute layout works in Android. So what exactly is absolute layout is? So using absolute layout, we can actually specify the positions of our child elements. So positions in terms of X coordinate and Y coordinates. So in the earlier videos we have seen in linear layout and relative layout, we used to position our child elements with respect to the layout left, layout right, top, bottom, margin left, margin right. Yes. So in this absolute layout, we would specify their positions with the help of X and Y coordinates. So let's get into our Android studio and check how does it work. So by default here is constrained layout. I would remove this and I would type absolute layout. So now here it shows a line and it says that it is deprecated, which means that absolute layout is no longer used. Uh, instead of that, we use now frame layout and relative layout. Fine, but still since it is there in a syllabus, we will uh, do this practical absolute layout. So now I'll get into the design view and in the relative layout, we designed a login screen. So we'll design the same screen again, but with the help of absolute layout. So we were having added text, which is nothing but a plain text. So I'll select and drag and drop it over here under absolute layout. So you can see it over here. It has been appeared name and uh, so we know that the we have to position the child elements in x and y axis right so for our screen our x axis is this and y axis is this part so x and y axis so accordingly we have to enter the coordinates and position our child elements so in the login screen we were having two text box so first of all let us first assign align this text box so i'll remove this text and put a hint as and give it as username okay so now i want it to align so and put the coordinates for this edit text so it would be android colon layout underscore x so first would be my x coordinate equal to into double quotes the coordinates uh, va value of the coordinates so suppose in the design this is my x coordinate right so the here is my 0 comma 0 this is my x this is my y so from here i want it somewhere in the center so i'll give approx to 200 and the units would be in px so in the previous videos we have seen many different units dp sp mm inc px so for coordinates we would give px and not dp so if i go here and check in the design so it got moved to 200 pixels okay so this was my x-axis but now what i want uh, i want it to be over here somewhere down from somewhere down over here so in relative and linear we we use the attribute as as android code margin top and we gave some uh, no, some values right but over here we don't we, we would not use those attributes so only x and y the coordinates so x coordinate is adjusted so for y i want it here right so from y we would we would give values for this y coordinate so let's come over here and android colon layout underscore y equal to and let us give some value double value of this 400 pixel and if i check so see this got appeared over here so this is still not in the center it's to more of its left side so let me give more uh, value for this x coordinates give us 250 and if i check again and yes i think now it is at the center so this was my first edit text for uh, username next i would take it for password so again uh, plain text select it and drag and drop it over here so now it is again over here so now what i want is i just need it want it to be below this so we had attribute as android for layout below uh, below the ID below and we would we would be passing the edit text ID of this one But here it's not that case. We still have to work with the coordinates X and Y 
so let me first give your hint as password password and now the coordinates android colon layout so my x coordinate for this is fixed because i want it just below below this uh, edit text so x coordinate is fixed so layout underscore x is equal to i would type it as 250 px and if i check okay it got right over here and now i want it below this slightly so y coordinate was three uh, four hundred okay so just more value than four hundred android colon layout underscore y equal to i would pass as let pass it as 500 px to check yes so it is still not having that spacious view so let us give it as 600 and over here yes now you can see username and password it got just one below the other so the next one which we were having were buttons two buttons so drag and select and drag and drop button over here and get into so the button appeared over here so let's remove the text for this button and we will give as login and again the same layout so android colon layout so my x would be the same layout underscore x equal to 250 px let us check yes and now i want it below password so the y coordinate android colon layout underscore y equal to i'll pass it so here it was 600 let us give 700 px oh sorry and we'll check it still needs some space so we'll give as 750 approx okay so login appeared over here so the next which were we were having it was another button which was cancel named as cancel let us change the name cancel and uh, we'll give the android colon layout underscore x and y coordinates so now i want this cancel over here okay so the x coordinate would not remain the same for this particular button so it has slightly moved moved far from this x coordinate okay so this is the username i want my button over here so x coordinate would be changed for this particular child view let us give as 500 and i will check 500 is 500 okay for this or not and we'll bring it down with the help of y coordinate underscore y equal to so y would be uh, over here after login so it would be the same as what we had for login so 750 px and if i check yeah it got right at the very bottom of this and below login so if i want still i can uh, put some space 550 if i get okay so now this is much more better login and cancel so this so uh, if i run select and run it select my emulator so this is how our login screen looks using absolute layout where we place our child components using x and y coordinates so that's it from this video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe